Hi, my name is Mary Helene Rudd. I'm a student at the University of Delaware where I study art conservation and I'm also currently a volunteer at Winter Cares Textile Conservation Lab. And most recently I've had the wonderful opportunity to help with this women's suffragette flag, which is on loan from a private collection for the upcoming exhibit, Votes for Women, A Portrait of Persistence, which opens on October 1st. And you might notice that we're actually looking at the back of the flag. And that's because the back tells a very special story. And that's the story of these six stars, which reference the six states that at the time were the only to allow women the right to vote. So the front of the flag has 48 stars, and that allows us to date the flag to a very narrow window of time in 1912 between Arizona's admission to the Union as the 48th state and Arizona's uh, expansion of the right to vote to women in November, um, being only the seventh state to do so. So the history of the flag might actually be a bit older because it's likely that at the time the flag was repurposed for the sake of that contemporary political moment. And that's evidenced by differences in the construction between the red and white stripes and the blue square that we see here. So the blue is actually composed of three different segments of fabric that were seen together. And that might also hint at a bit of a rush construction, perhaps under the deadline of an upcoming event. And some other evidence of that are the, uh, the loose ends of the thread from the application of some of the stars. But over the course of the flag's history, it was cared for, on, and some evidence of that are patches in some of the, uh, the weaker areas. And this is evidence of care with the patch. And a lot of people have put work into ensuring that its story continues to be told. And most recently, some of that work has included reducing some of the creases of the flag. And we also have just recently mounted it on this board for exhibition with a total of 212 pins. And they're very special, very thin pins, which make sure not to damage the flag. So I hope that you'll have a chance in the next few weeks to come see it in person.